Jeez, man, it's like three in the morning right now. I'm looking good, nice. <laughs> man what's going on y'all as you guys see for the title today i'm going to be showing you how to make a sample for don toliver something like his last album that he recently did like life of dawn or whatever it was called <laughs> i don't know what's so funny right now man all right so i'm going to be breaking down this sample called rosemary that i did with my boy nico baron man uh it's from my artificial volume one sample library i got an artificial collection out now if you guys want to go get that on drumify.com Step, step your kids up, man. You look at him up. So this is the sample that we're gonna be breaking down. It's 149 BPM. <laughs> yeah, super like majestic, weird, wavy, ambient spacey something that you would listen to at like late at night or like early in the morning while you're leaving the club something like that so yeah so the first thing that i went ahead and did was got this midi from nico baron you know i sent over a text via imessage i was like yo send me a pack of midis please i really need some i'm working on some samples he sent this over super consistent and fire unique sounding you guys know I love that unique word. Yeah, I went ahead and went into Analog Lab and I got this preset right here called Back Cult. I can't read, bro. We've been over. I need to go back to school, bro. I can't even hold y'all. But I threw on these portal presets. I don't know why I keep saying this. I don't know. It's not letting me log into my account, so it's not working. But it's called Like Water from Stephen Schaefer's Portal Bank. Uh, and then another one called Sharp and Crystals. And then I just throw in a half time for the verse. You guys will get to hear that in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is what it sounds like dry, I guess. It did have another like saucy flavor to it, but then I just half timed it for the verse. And the half time's not working, but y'all get the point. It, it, it'd be like, you know. So yeah, so next up after that, I went ahead and added this weird like synth lead from one of Nico Baron's one shot kits. Uh, it's a synth called Stereo Synth, but this is what it sounds like. Give it a second. I know what y'all are thinking. Chase, that's trash, bro. Doesn't sound good. I know, give me some time. Exactly why I threw on an effect rack, a reverse tape delay here in the delays, and I reversed it, and it gave it a real saucy, wavy, you know what I'm saying? Let me just take these out. Real weird sound. So right here, turn it into a wave file. yeah just real overall weird you know what i'm saying so next up after that we got this other analog lab uh melody that i layered if we go over to analog lab go here it's a pad called angie i don't know where it's at i don't know why it doesn't show me where it's at or anything like that but that's what it's called you guys can try to go hunt it down but it sounds like this Next up after that, I went ahead and added like this weird key from Nico. Uh, that's what it sounds like. I threw on a sketch cassette, crystals preset. Uh, this is one that I was working on a sketch cassette bank. I ended up not dropping it, but if any of you guys want this, you know what I'm saying? I, I got you on the DL download. We're on a halftime one bar uh, preset or whatever. I put the effects down to 500. Jackie put me on game about this. It basically just like, I'm keeping it 100. I really don't know what, you, what it does, but it like makes it swell. You know what I'm saying? Like, just listen. <laughs> So it was just, it just sounded cooler. So that's what it got together. But wait, I'm not done. I added a volume animation, ugh, a volume automation clip to kind of give it like a weird, you know what I'm saying? If you guys pay attention to this. Yeah. Then I added a bass, just going from D, F sharp to G, down to F sharp. Back up the G with a little transitional C sharp note and then transitional D sharp note.
was that. And then this is, that's just a WAV file. I think my CPU was tripping, so I turned that into a WAV file. So just ignore that. <coughs> but then I got these ARPs right here. Just give it some more, you know what I'm saying? Some more, more drip. Then, you know, we gotta add our ambiences, we gotta add our textures, whatnot, just to sauce it up. So I added this texture right here from Only One of 808 Mafia. Then this other ambience. Then I added this ambience right here, which is just these two put together, but I added like some weird pitch effects and shit. But this is what the finished product sounds like since I don't have the portal presets on. I don't know why it's not letting me log into the account, but it's what it sounds like completely finished. Yeah. And then as you guys can see, I have an arranged eight bar intro, 16 bar hook, and then 16 bar verse. I take out some of the sounds for the first part of the hook and then I add them back and then for the verse I kind of open it up a lot more as you guys can hear in the loop. So yeah, this is something that I definitely hear Don Tolliver on. Uh, really want to try to get that place at some point in the future. Simbo help me out on that man, that's my Don Connect. Mm, it's lit but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i got a lot of energy so i hope you know i kept you guys entertained i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe go get my kits on drumify.com if you want to support the kid also level up your sound i love y'all man as always follow me on instagram at chase vibes and i'm out